Hello everyone, this is how to make a physics based door, so let's get started. Alright, so I have went ahead and made a blueprint already. It's just a door in the frame. The door has collision and the frame doesn't, so that the door doesn't hit it and interfere with the frame. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is set the door so that it simulates physics. And if you don't see this, then you have to go in your starter content door and add collision onto the door itself. And then this should be able to be checked. This just allows the door to actually move when we hit it. Next, we need to come up here and add a component. And it's the physics constraint component. And then in the physics constraint component, we need to set the swing motions to limited, locked, and locked. Which, as you can see by this little angle right here, this is the way the door will spin when we hit it. So, to set it where it spins properly, we need to rotate this about 90 degrees, move it to the opposite side of the handle, and then come over here on the swing limit and set this to about 90 degrees, or however wide you want the door to open. And as you can see, the angle grew. Alright, so after you have the angle set to a degree that you like, you need to come up here and assign it a constraint bone or a component. And this will be our door mesh. And as you can see, a box appears. So it's constraining the box. And yours might not be a door, but it's whatever your door mesh is, whatever you name this component. So then if we compile and save, come over here on our mat and we play it. If we run into the door, it swings open. However, we can fix it where it closes after we run into it. And to do that, all we have to do is go back into the door, go into our physics constraint, scroll down here, and change the angular motor to twist and swing. And then enable swing right here. And then just this value can stay 50. It doesn't really matter. Compile and save. And now after we hit it, the door will close on its own. So if we run it, you can see it will close on its own. But it still sort of just ping pongs back and forth for a long time. And to fix this, we can go back into our door. Go into the door mesh itself, go up here on the angular dampening, and set this to a value of about 20, or whatever you prefer. You can play around with these values and find something that you like, but now if we run into the door, it will close behind us, and just gently come to a stop right behind us. So yeah, that was the tutorial. If you learned something, subscribe. If you have any questions or if something doesn't work for you, leave a comment down below and I will try to respond. But other than that, that's the end of the tutorial, so I'll see you later. Bye.